All right, so today we're going to be reacting to the untold truth of Linkin Park's new singer, Emily Armstrong. I'm definitely interested in her. Some of y'all said I should go back and check out her uh, her band that she had previously. I think you guys said it was called Dead Sarah. But I do want to know more about her. So let's just get right into this. The untold truth of Linkin Park's new singer. Emily Armstrong was thrust into the spotlight in 2024 when she became Linkin Park's new singer. But just who is she? Okay. It all began when Emily Armstrong got a guitar for her 12th birth. From there, her passion for music blossomed, and she eventually dropped out of La Cañada High School in California to pursue her passion full time. Before she began playing in a band with Susie Medley in 2003, she was doing singer songwriter stuff, as she told El Paso Times in 2012. Okay, so that's After the band. With Medley under the name Epiphany, the pair played their first show at an LA nightclub in 2005 renaming the group Dead Sarah that same year. Dead Sarah ended up opening for band. Okay, so Dead, Dead Sarah, that's her band that she was officially a part of, like her first official band, but they had a different name when it started. Leave a Dead Sarah song that I should react to that it's probably their heaviest song, if they have one. Please drop that in the comments. That's the one I want to listen to. Ends like Muse and The Used, but it's passion that's always driven Armstrong. She yes, told El Paso used, Times, huh? it's therapy for me. It's Damn, the one he looks thing so that different really keeps too. me motivated in life in general. Now, she fronts Linkin Park. Even before joining the group, however, Linkin Park was a part of her musical journey. When she was young and starting to play with other musicians, Armstrong loved their massively popular debut album, Hybrid Theory. She told okay. Shane Lowe on his Apple Music One podcast, that was the moment where I was like, I want to sing and scream one step closer. I was like, I could do that. And at the time, I wasn't even a good singer. I was a guitar player in a band, and I just loved being in a band. And I was was like i could do that so wait a minute she wasn't even the singer of dead sarah she, all right well at least i know that she can do more than just sing to this point and just being like this is crazy armstrong grew up in los angeles the entertainment capital of the world wait a minute it says the offspring the offspring does she have a song with the offspring was born elsewhere she said on the bringing it backwards podcast i feel like i would have been better off growing up somewhere like franklin you know what I mean? I love a smaller town. I don't know, like for family and stuff like that. Franklin is a census designated place in Sacramento County and the 2020 decennial census put its population at 167. She later added. All right. So if you're enjoying this reaction, man, go ahead. Drop me a like, drop me a sub. When I go to a smaller town, I'm like, God, it's so much more like homey. Armstrong says <laughs> she likes the diversity of bigger cities, but noted that before she was in high school, her parents sent her to a boarding school in Santa Clarita because of the high crime rate in LA. She recalled, and then there I learned to play guitar and just kind of hunkered down a little. I was able to just kind of hone in and focus, and I just made a band, and that's all I did there. Nice. Armstrong has faced accusations of being involved with the Church of Scientology. Oh, On August God. 24th, 2013, no one she cares, attended Celebrity I don't 44th care. Anniversary you do whatever you want. Los Angeles. She also appeared in a photo from the event alongside Cedric Bixler Zavala, a former Scientologist and the lead singer of the Mars Volta. The outlet also says her parents were reportedly both part of the faith. What does it matter? All I, all I want to know is her singing abilities and what she could bring to the band. Please just, why do we got to get so in-depth with religions and politics and everything? Why can't we just enjoy the good things in life? Mike Render told him that Armstrong's mother, Gail, was part of the church's Sea Organization, or Sea Org. She was also senior hey. consulting editor of the church's magazine, Freedom, as of 2003, per its website. Let Elsewhere, her do what she wants to do. Serge Del Mar. They're like portraying this in like a negative light. I don't know shit about Scientology because I just don't care to understand anything that. But why are they portraying it so hard? Like it's such a negative thing. People are allowed to do what they want to do. Let them do it. If she wants to be a part of this, let her be a part of it. Car said on his YouTube channel that he knew Armstrong when he was a child. And at the time, she was a Scientologist just like him. Giovanni okay. Ribisi, an actor and Scientologist, also directed the video for Dead Sarah's Something Good. As reported by the Bay Area. This person was associated with her. Her parents, that person, this person. We, we have it. We, we got her pinpointed. She is it. Until she outright and says that she's a part of it, can't just assume somebody is part of it. Chill, chill. We need to chill on that. Area wow. reporter. Armstrong identifies as queer, and she has expressed support for the LGBTQ plus community. In 2016, okay. she appeared to be dating model Kate Harris. The pair never publicly confirmed their relationship, but if they were together, it seems it didn't take. Another take. If they are, they are! Doesn't involve you! Who cares? L, as of May 2024, 
Harrison had been dating actress Chloe Grace Moretz for several years. On X, Ollie Ho, content manager for gaming outlet GG Recon, defended Armstrong in the wake of criticism for her reported ties to Scientology. He claims she is openly gay and openly supports LGBT rights. Actor Danny okay. Masterson was best known for his role as Stephen Hyde in That 70s Show. Until 2017, that is, when news surfaced of a Los Angeles Police Department investigation and allegations of... Okay, so now we're, we're getting in the lines of like, if you're a Scientologist, it's associated with nothing but bad. It's nothing but bad, you guys. Like, not every religion and everything has ever had anything bad besides Scientology. <laughs> four like, women had leveled against the star. In May 2023, he was found guilty of two that. counts of I want to know about her. 30 years to life in prison. Why are we learning During about Danny Masterson, bro? Armstrong this is such a side quest. After Linkin Park announced hmm. Armstrong as its new singer, Cedric Bixler Zavala, the husband of Masterson accuser Christine Carnell Bix, claimed that the musician supported the actor amid the Armstrong took to social media to address the claim. And though she didn't mention the star by name, she said she regrets her decision to support her him. Her pupils she are wrote huge in, in that Instagram picture. Story, Several years ago, I was asked to support someone I considered a friend at a court appearance and went to one early hearing as an observer. Soon after, I realized I shouldn't have. She continued to say she always tries to see the good in people, but misjudged and has not had any contact with him set you find out one of your friends is uh you know one of those type of people you're allowed to make a decision about your friend off of their actions you know you don't always have to back them when they're doing stuff like that i would expect you not to back them to be honest <laughs> she went on to add unimaginable details emerged and he was later found guilty to say it as clearly as possible i do not condone abuse or violence against women and i empathize like everybody with victims of these crimes if you or anyone who in their right mind is going to come out and say, I support all these bad things on people. Nobody, you know, has been a victim of sexual assault. Help is available. Okay. Visit the abuse and incest national yes. network website or contact Reigns national help. This is serious. 1-800-656-HOPE. 1-800-656-4673. Okay. So look, it's not a bad document. We definitely went on a, a few side quests here. Okay. Um, I wanted to know more about her, her history in music. It started off that way way but then it just like pushed towards this whole narrative of like she's a bad person because she was into scientology or might be into it not even confirmed or she has a friend that turned out to be a, a an sa -er. I don't care about all that stuff man like it's serious stuff the reason why i wanted to react to this was to learn more about her as a singer i feel like i got a little bit of it maybe there's another documentary out there you guys no disrespect to whoever made this video i totally understand it was well put together i just feel like they heavily once we got to like the middle point of the video i felt like it it took a turn and we stopped learning about her music history i don't really feel like i learned anything that i didn't learn from you guys in the comment sections because you guys told me about that sarah maybe that's why there's so much controversy around here maybe Okay, now that it makes sense. Whatever, I'm here for the music. Okay, I want to hear good music. I don't care about if you're out there doing whoever you want to do. You know, I don't care about your religion, none of that stuff. Everybody's allowed to do what they want to do. You shouldn't be forced into anything that you don't want to be a part of. All right, so if you want to hear some actual Linkin Park, I probably have a video going up right here. And then there's a little sub button right there. You guys can go ahead and click on that. Subscribe to me as well. Wasn't not, this was not what I expected. Until next time, you guys, I'll see you later. Peace.